they've been unbeaten and they're vying for a place not only uh, in the the full-blown professional circuit next year but also there's one remaining spot in the Olympics so it's quite a drawn-out process but the Chinese women's sevens team still have a chance of making the Paris Olympics and all of these young players um, are certainly being watched and uh, Sir Gordon oh, Titchens we've, we've got the fireworks as our women's cup final teams run out this is Shandong Rugby Club they're playing in red China five stars in the black on screen there you can see Shandong Rugby Club they're in their huddle what a big moment for them there's China five stars both of these teams play a very disciplined game they look like they've trained very hard and well together they seem to know each other well it's going to be about who takes the big moment of playing in a final better he plays better heads up rugby he capitalizes on the little opportunities sometimes the surprise opportunities china five sides are going to be ready there to kick off we got packed crowds here down at the Hong Kong Football Club and it's getting very quiet. We're about to kick off. It's exciting stuff. Yes, well, you made that uh, comment um, how the China Five Stars won the, the opening match against their opponents here tonight, Shandong, by 22 to 10. But uh, you feel after what you've seen that maybe the tables could be turned. I was, I was really impressed by uh, Shandong Rugby Club this morning and their opening game today. Um, so I, I do just think we're going to be in for a really great finals battle. Here we go. Beautifully taken there, Shandong Rugby Club in possession for this Women's Cup final. Shandong founded in 2010. And I love their philosophy, Kim. It's integrity, enthusiasm, discipline, unity, and respect. And it's all about stick to your dreams and never give up. Fight hard and be fearless. And love we've it. seen, certainly seen that from both of these teams. It's certainly fearless going into contact there. They're looking to run the ball wide. Oh. Whole shutdown. Well, there by China Five Stars. Aggie Poon wrapping that final here. Obviously, very well known. She's a Hong Kong Seven star. She's now moved into wrapping. I, I saw her with a couple of ice packs on her calves and quads um, about an hour ago, but she's moving freely. It's tough work being a ref. Number 10, Xiao Ying. We're moving it left. Going into contact, great speed there. Good support at the breakdown. Move it back to the other side once again. Trying to get through the middle and see if we can create some space there. Well shut down by China Five Stars. Been on defense this whole match so far. Well, the great thing about both of these sides, you, you'll see they're uh, so fit. Mm. And they've given away size uh, to a lot of the other teams in the competition, but they've been over overcome that even in the set pieces, in the scrums and, and in the malls. But their technique at the breakdown is so good. Mm. They protect the ball and they're very fast. And they tackle hard. Yeah, I've seen, we've seen some really competitive breakdowns in this tournament. Good lines there. Excellent defense there on the wings from China Five Stars. Number 28, Ma Xiandan. Finally, they go to the boots up to halfway, but there's a bit of an arm wrestle there early on. It's a war of attrition and a good chase. Potential to make a bit of ground. Comes at the risk of opening up too much space. Plays a rear line well nicely. Now we see China Five Stars. With ball in hand for the first time. Driving forward. Excellent fight there. That's gained about 10 metres. 
Space. Oh, we found some space down the middle. Number 24, Wang Wu. She scored five tries in the tournament. An absolute danger for them. Oh, what an exciting opening try there of this Women's Cup final. China Five Stars getting first blood. Well, it was a, a stalemate, wasn't it? And finally, some pace and beating the opponent on the outside. Just blinding acceleration off the mark, a little step. The gap came, and it was no contest thereafter. Liao Julie gets the conversion. Is Wang. And then the support from Ma. Beautifully done. Uh, China Five Stars to the opening try. It's 7 0. China Five Stars up over Shanghai Rugby Club. Beautifully taken there. Shanghai will want to hit back here. They worked so hard at the beginning of this game, kept the ball in hand for so long. Didn't gain much territory there, and no point in the board for it. No point having the possession if you're not going to do anything with it. Fighting forward, they go, they're going to once yeah. again try to find some space at the middle. Well, they're just operating a long way behind the advantage line. They've been held up here, we've and it's going to be the, a turnover. We've seen them all used a few times in this tournament. straight into our first scrum of the game. We're being uh, suffocated by the China Five Stars defence, which is moving up so quickly. And uh, it's an umbrella defence, and uh, they're really struggling to, to work out how to find a way through it and getting caught so far uh, behind that advantage line. It's a nice quick exit from the ball there. Kang Jian Tiang in the scrum half. Haven't seen too many dive passes this tournament. Oh, little dummy. Moving on left there. Oh, penalty though, holding on. Chen Dong taking it quickly. Shaking off one tackler. They're moving fast there at the breakdown. Pass though goes a little awry. You saw the momentum wasted there with a loose pass. And there's a steal. It's back in the hands of China Five Stars. And to come back to the mark. Number 20, Joe. They're asking for the scram. Certainly had a very quick ball in, ball out scrum just now. And you can see all those young faces. Um, as Sir Gordon Titchens mentioned, they're 18 and 19 year olds. And uh, he's looking at uh, number four, Ren. Also number seven, Gao. And the song, if she gets on, she's very tall. So. Those three players in the red team, looking at them um, as possible prospects for the, the national sevens team. Once again, you need to come back to Mark. And again, we're going for another scrap here. Had an attempt to go down the blind side. Well, you, I get the feeling that the China Five Stars feel that they are the superior team and we're showing Shandong Rugby Club who's the boss here. But Shandong have been very determined in defence. It was just that one defensive error that separated the two teams. Sometimes that's uh, the nature of tens. But there's only one try separating the two teams here.
two minutes yeah, quite a few. before half time. Set play here, kind of slowed down the momentum. Shandong Rugby Club on attack. Good strong running once again from them. Getting cancelled a bit at the breakdown here. China Five Stars looking for the turnover. And they will come away with this. Some Player desperate, off there. desperate hands in there. You've got to be able to hold your body weight. You've mm. got Kang Jing Oh, here. this massive hit. And she'll take a while. Of it certainly rattled the, the wax in her eardrums. Certainly might need to catch a breath. Run, but China Five Stars on attack here. Ferociously hunting towards their try line. They're cranking up the pressure. Wing is there. Wu Jan is over for China Five Stars, and that is try number two. And they really went up a gear there, didn't they? The oh. intensity level went noticeably up a couple of notches. Absolutely. You could just feel it. Poor Kang Jenkins still taking a few breaths after that enormous tackle. Conversion is not over. Gives our score 12-0. China five stars over Shandong Rugby Club in this Women's Cup final. Clock is counting down the seconds of this first half. And look at the, uh, the passing skills. The ball thrown out in front of the player. So often we've seen in this tournament, um, balls too high going behind the person, but that was a copybook finish. Uh, it's certainly something I noticed about both of these teams. They just look like they've run passing draw after passing draw with one another. Kick is taken well there by Shandong Rugby Club. So Shandong, which... Uh, Eastern Province uh, sits on the Yellow Sea, very large industrial and manufacturing area of China. Unfortunately, lost the ball. And China Five Stars looking for one more little bit of score before we break for half time. Recent try scorer Wu Jian is on hand again. Another penalty advantage. Oh, what a nice little ball that one was. Well, this will put them out of sight if they can finish off here. Needing a nine. Rough defenders hold steady. Beautiful tackle there. And they've managed to come away with the turnover, Shandong Rugby Club. So Shit. Shandong. Shit. Desperate to try and get something out of this first half. But again, they're being pinned down inside their own quarter. Player gets down to her knees. Nobody's there to be nine. We're just running into a black wall at the moment. Yeah, this... I have to say, it's trying to five-star defence. Seems impenetrable. However, oh! China Rugby Club almost found a way through, but that's going to bring us into half-time. China Five Stars go in with that advantage. 12 points over zero, Shandong Rugby Club. I mean, you just feel if uh, Shandong could just find a little hole somewhere, they could do some massive damage. But that defensive line of China Five Stars is holding so strong. And then when they are on attack, just looking deadly. Yes, the line speed in defense, um, they're up so quickly in the faces of Shandong, and they're really struggling uh, they're rattled uh, trying to work out how to get through this um, almost invincible black wall but Shandong. Shandong importantly they held out there before half time mm -hmm. another try would have been disastrous yeah. so they're still in the game China five stars though very much in the driving seat at 12-0 so China five stars uh, made this is their sevens team, made their Olympic debut at Tokyo in 2020. And as we mentioned, their national sevens team, there's still one spot available um, for a country in the Paris Ol Olympic sevens rugby tournament for women. And I see that number two, um, 
Jung is coming off the field, who was um, on the receiving end of that huge tackle. So importantly, uh, yes, there's an opportunity for the, the Chinese women's sevens team uh, still to make the rugby tournament at the Olympics in Paris. It celebrates 100 years of the last Olympics in Paris, and rugby was played back in 1924 as well. Shandong Rugby Club will be kicking off the second half. Aggie Poon blows her whistle. And away we go. Oh, it's going straight up there. Players waiting to see if anyone will be tempted to touch it. That's an automatic free kick when you don't go the, the distance or any uh, indiscretion from the restart. China five stars uh, choosing to go with the scrum on the halfway line. They seem to be very confident with their scrumming. You must have all five forwards in the scrum uh, all the time, and only the halfback can pick the ball up from the scrum. No player involved in the scrum is allowed to pick the ball up. Yeah, so we've seen it quite a lot of this tournament. There's a lot of pressure often applied to that halfback from the defending halfback. One nice thing about setting up a, a scrum setup is it, it potentially creates holes. You've drawn so many players into that scrum. There's only four of the defenders left out. So we get that ball out quickly. Players just diving over that time to seal off the ball. And that time they were caught. And you can't get away with it twice in a row. Shandong showing a little bit of spirit here. I think they've had a fairly stern talking to at half time, but their execution's again letting them down. Bit of a wild path there. It's not making it any easier for themselves. But it's an excellent running. Keep going, same direction. That wall, as you said, is moving up, moving up. China Five Stars really does a great job of not allowing an attacking team to. They have some numbers here if they can take advantage. Good path, however, she is brought down. Coming in on the side of the ruck that time of the tackle. 25 sides really need to let, not let the discipline get in the way. Again, the numbers are out on this side of the field, and they go the other way. Got a little grabber. We do have a fast chaser. Oh, and she catches her. Well, she certainly didn't play the ball straight away. Support got there quickly. So China Five Star is still in possession there. They're calming it down, going a bit slower. Calming it down, not rushing. They're right near the try line that they're defending. Sometimes the best way is just try to get <laughs> crash straight through. Aggie Pin. Oh, is reaching into that sock. And unfortunately, number eight, Zhao Xiaoxi yeah, from Chandong Rabbit Club will be sitting in the naughty chair for two minutes. Well, that's a, a critical error. Down 12 nil, six and a half minutes remaining in this championship final. It's just feeling like Shandong Rugby Club were building something. So that's certainly a blow for them. Of course, she will be able to come back on after her two minutes is done. But two minutes can be a very long time in a game like 10. The tradition, Hong Kong Football Club Thames, tradition, Asia's leading inter-dealer brokerage firm, stepped up as the major sponsor in 2023 and 24, coinciding with the introduction of the women's oh, competition. Oh, just a beautiful run there from the scrum half. She's got a whole field to go, and she's been mowed down by Jaxi Jing. Will she get to her in time? No, what an incredible individual try there. From number 23, Kang Jingxian. 
she's going to be tired after that run. She's run almost the entire field. So that was off, off the scrum there. She put, ball came out of the scrum, she took it, and she went. And then had to keep going and keep going. Yes, that was a, an act of burglary. She absolutely dumped out of the defence, who fell for her dummy. And a rich reward. And Liao Julie with the extras. The score in their first round clash in the pool was 22 to 5. And what a textbook dummy pass that was. Again, the defence was flat footed that time. And a nice gap appeared. To score a try, Sydney with the momentum had looked the other way. Speaks highly of this China five star team. Perhaps Another still. turnover, but ball lost forward. Perhaps also winning the mental game of the Shandong Rugby Club. Coming back for a scrum, and it'll be Shandong's put in here. <laughs> Number 10, Xiao Ying. I'm waiting for a forward pack to get right. Shandong in, in red, making their tournament debut. Founded in 2010, as we mentioned, and they draw they draw from a population of a meagre 102 million people in their province. Only the best of the best make it. And I'm on the fight here. Yeah. Moving the ball nicely. And it's been turned over by China Five Stars. Here's a little knock on. We'll go back. Three minutes remaining. Q. Three minutes remaining. Ball's going back into Sandong Rugby's possession. We've got a few. We've got a replacement coming on. Number five, Yu Xiao Xiao. Certainly been a lot of scrums in this final. It's been a very professional, very clinical performance by China Five Stars. They really haven't allowed Shandong any oxygen in this game. Hoping to create something here. Excellent fight in the contact there. Running it well. Ah, it's a big tackle in there. Such fight for the breakdown once again. The tackle coming in from Chen Shi Ying. Once again, Shandong Rugby, although managing to keep possession of the ball, just aren't making much ground. And it looks like China Five Stars has turned it over once more. And really not far out from their try line again. It's all down to the physicality in defence. Ah, slid in to get that ball. Tricky. They still have it. Back left they go. Oh, oh, flick back. Aggie Poon's hand up in favour of China Five Stars. That's the other point, Kim, that Gordon Titchett was saying, that they're, 
really trying to focus on that physical side of the game at the breakdown uh, in their defense, but particularly at the breakdown. And I think we've seen that tonight. That's been a big difference oh, between the sides. Absolutely. And something I've noticed uh, in this tournament, really aggressive at the breakdown. Have you? Oh, committing enough plays into that rack. Turnovers are happening. Mind you, Shandong have pulled off some bone shattering tackles as well tonight, haven't they? So just seconds remaining. This should be the last set piece of the game in this all China Women's Cup final. Oh, that's just a very clinical, clean line out there. The ease of their jump is something I've also noticed for those last two days. Oh, an exciting runner. That's an excellent pass there. She's got so much space out on the left. And she is over. The whistle is up. That's 21. Xiang Yu Tong. And you've just got to say what a... What a commanding performance for our final. I did think there'd be a little bit more in it. Shandong of Sydney plays some incredible rugby, particularly today. They just got no room to breathe. So not only can you give props to this China five sides attack, I think it's really their defense that allowed them to attack so well. And that is full time in this Women's Cup final. Our winners are China five stars, very deservedly so, a 24-0 final affair over Shandong Rugby Club. The development squad that feeds into the National China 7s and 15s program are the winners of the Hong Kong Football Club Tradition 10s 2024. These are your cup champions. You see them bowing to the crowd and having a photo moment. Look at the elation on everyone's faces. So wonderful. Thanking their coaches. Historic moment for China Five Stars. Downing their countrywomen, Shandong Rugby Club, who are making their tournament debut and was certainly far from disgraced they've performed splendidly right through this tournament and uh, first ever all china final in the women's competition mind you this is only the, the second year but these two teams have really been at it all the way through with their consistency and their skill level and um, i just saw gordon titchens at the back uh, of the china five stars so gordon titchens and uh, those young development players that were sent over to, to bolster this squad have certainly done the deed. Those elated winners for me. All smiles tonight. A victory lap of honor and a lot of them have their um, some family members here i noticed and they're really enjoying the moment walking over to their medal ceremony and i believe that um, Ada milby who is the president of the philippines rugby club will be making the the, the presentation just off to the right so philippines having a hand in yeah. 2024 she is well known in women's rugby doing so much particularly for women's rugby in asia so she'll be well pleased to see a development side coming away with the gold
Let couple, it take. There's a bit of hobbling. I saw. I know he's all stuffed up. Certainly fought for this cup. Poor Christopher there, handing the cup over. Paul Christopher, the Hong Kong Football Club Thames chairman. The women's cap. Champions getting ready to lift their trophy. Well done to China Five Stars. Yes, and some very young faces, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of these players in future years. So we're building now to the men's uh, cup final. And China five stars celebrating the 36th edition of the tradition Hong Kong Football Club Tennis. It's probably a good opportunity for us to mention all of the, the volunteers. I mean, all of the officials are, are volunteers that make it all happen. Um, the committee members, Bill Mason, Benita Lung, Evan Moore, Josh Stone, Paul McSheefrey, Rashini Turner, Stephen Das. Chairman Paul Christopher is managing partner for Murant, Asia and Pacific practice leader of the Corporate and Investments Fund in Asia. And uh, Murant, who sponsored uh, the Apache, winner of the Offshore Law Firm of the Year in Asia. So all volunteer officials, but a lot of terrific corporate sponsorship and backing for the tournament. And there's uh, Sir Gordon Titchens on the right-hand side there uh, with the baseball cap, with that, uh, speaking to that lady in pink. And he's a very happy man to see his young charges coming through. Well, thank you, Kim. It's been a pleasure. It's been so You've good. You've enjoyed yourself. Oh, I've had such a great two days of rugby. We're leading into, uh, obviously, a lot of fun with the Hong Kong Sevens. We'll see the best.